For three years, 11 research projects studied the brackish Barnegat Bay from top to bottom. At Ocean County College, they revealed their findings. The good? Based upon the kinds of animals that are living in the sediment, their abundance, how sensitive or tolerant they are to stresses, that Barnegat Bay is in good shape. The bad? Bird uh, reproducti reproductivity um, has declined uh, with these perch and watercrafts getting too close. So the birds flush and they leave their nests, um, which every time a boat comes too close, maybe it could be a couple minutes, but that's a couple minutes that the bird is not sitting on the, uh, the nests and incubating the eggs. And the unexpected, 200 species of microscopic algae called diatoms, common in the Indian Ocean, but never before found here. To find new, to find new uh, species, uh, in most cases, that's good news. Governor Chris, you ordered a study of the 42-mile-long Barnegat Bay, a huge recreation spot that both takes and gives from the Atlantic Ocean. It's home to the Oyster Creek Nuclear Generating Station, set to close in 2019, not soon enough for one retired chemist. When I was a kid, Barnegat Bay was fishing heaven, clamming, oysters, all of that kind of thing. It's gone way downhill since the Oyster Creek nuclear plant has opened. What that does is scoop up all of the beautiful life that's in there, all the tiny crabs, all the uh, spat from oysters and stuff like that. It cooks them because there is no cooling tower, which then disrupts the very bottom of the food chain so that it doesn't grow. That plant's been generating electricity for Central Jersey for 45 years now, so we've all benefit from that. So um, ideally what you do though is you, you, you monitor and you evaluate the impacts on the ecology by sampling and doing the things that we're doing here over the past three years. Belton describes the bay as a strong resilient ecosystem standing up to what humans are doing to it. There are certain areas where it's, it's feeling the stresses of too many people, too much you know like uh, runoff, you know like that comes down into the streets, um, some of the bulkheading that's gone on which has changed the natural ecosystem. I mean, those bulkheads now are places where you get jellyfish attaching to them, and then people are complaining about the jellyfish. The salt marshes, which are a natural feature of the bay, are a, a natural barrier to flooding during storms, such as Super Storm Sandy. So if you build too many houses on them, or if you carve lagoons into them, that's not such a great thing. The state calls the Barnegat Bay research so important and so extraordinary that it's making it available to the world. DEP plans to use this research for years to come because, as it says, improving Barnegat Bay won't happen overnight. In Tom's River, Michael Hill, NJTV News.